More than 1,000 buildings destroyed by massive California fire. California's largest single wildfire in recorded history kept pushing through forest lands on Tuesday as U.S. fire crews tried to protect rural communities from flames that have destroyed hundreds of homes. Clear skies over parts of the month-old Dixie Fire have allowed aircraft to rejoin nearly 6,000 firefighters in the attack this week. Whether or not we can fly depends very much on where the smoke is. There's still some areas where it's just too smoky, fire spokesman Edwin Zuniga said. Heavy smoke reduced visibility on the fire's west end while the east end saw renewed action as afternoon winds took hold, fire officials said. Burning through bone-dry trees, brush and grass, the fire by Tuesday, local time, had destroyed more than 1,000 buildings, including nearly 550 homes. But the reports are definitely subject to change because assessment teams still can't get into many areas to count what burned, Zuniga said. The Dixie Fire, named for the road where it started, also threatened 14,000 buildings in more than a dozen small mountain and rural communities in the northern Sierra Nevada. Crews have cut thousands of acres of new fire lines aimed at preventing the fire from spreading. Officials believe the fire lines created on the blaze's southern side will hold the fire at bay there, but the fire's future is unknown, authorities said. We don't know where this fire is going to end and where it's going to land. It continues to challenge us, said Chris Carlton, supervisor for Plumas National Forest. Temperatures are expected to rise and the humidity is expected to fall over the next few days, with triple-digit high temperatures possible later in the week along with a return of strong afternoon winds, fire meteorologist Rich Thompson warned Monday evening. The fire that broke out July 14 grew slightly on Tuesday to an area of 1,984 square kilometers, but containment increased to 27 percenter according to the California Department of Forestry and Fire Protection. The Dixie Fire is about half the size of the August Complex, a series of lightning caused 2020 fires across seven counties that were fought together and that state officials consider California's largest wildfire overall. Governor Gavin Newsom on Tuesday declared a state of emergency for northern Shasta, Trinity and Tahama counties. The declaration frees up state resources to help fight fires in those counties and give assistance to residents affected by he blazes. California's raging wildfires are among some 100 large blazes burning across 15 states, mostly in the west, where historic drought conditions have left lands parched and ripe for ignition.